Good morning, folks. <gasps> I am, once again, playing this spooky, scary RPG horror game. The Crooked Man. Yep, it's called The Crooked Man. Where I left off last time, it was, it was actually, <laughs> it was quite depressing. This guy, um, his mom, uh, let's just say she's very forgetful. And she forgot who he was. And then she remembered. And then she forgot again. And then she remembered. And and he couldn't... The, the nurses had to... Uh, they had to tell him to leave. Because his mom he just was a little crazy, you know. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's horrible. It's not funny at all. Yeah, that's what happened. And, I, yeah, I was just in that room there. I'm not gonna lie. I tell you, I was walking this way a little bit. And I saw a man. He was just standing there. Yeah, right there, in the middle of the hallway, and I think, I think he probably wants to talk to me. I think. I'm gonna try and sneak past him. I'm gonna try and sneak past him, but he's probably gonna stop me like the, just like those Pokemon trainers in the, in the, in the Pokemon games. <laughs> yeah, every time you try and sneak by, they always see you, every time. Oh, I remember that. That's always funny. Playing those games as a kid, trying to... Find a way to sneak past the trainers, but you can't. You just can't sneak past them. They're too good. They see you. They got eyes everywhere. Oh, crap. I, did, I, I didn't do a very good job sneaking. Oh, no? Well, I probably have to talk to him to to do finish the game. So, hold on. Oh, I got to take my chromo in. And I'm not going to pause the recording. Suck it. All right, I'm going to talk to this man. He, he looks very well put together, I must say. Well-trimmed beard, combed hair. Hello, David. Did you say your mother? Yeah, though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes. She's forgotten many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I just changed the doctor's voice again. I'm sorry. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. All right, swell deal, we're home. This is not our home, this is our apartment building. Our home is this one? No, that's not our home. This one, yeah. All right, if you didn't see the last video, there's been some weird stuff going on in this apartment. Someone was taking a tinkle in the toilet. Wait, no, no, they, no. Wait, that was the sink. Someone turned on the sink, no. The sink was broken. Someone broke the sink. And it was leaking. And I thought someone was taking pee pee in the toilet. Um, and then there was like writing in the mirror. Someone like fogged up the mirror. They went. <laughs> someone fogged up the mirror. And they, they wrote something weird on the mirror. I don't even know what it said. It said I think it said under the bed. Which is very creepy. And then there was like a piece of paper under the bed. And yeah just weird stuff like that. And. It sounded like someone was moving furniture around in here. My bed? My bed. I feel like my bed was like up one. Maybe. I don't know. Look around. I'm going to have a little look-see. See if I could find something suspicious. Uh-huh. Whoa. Oh, it was a chair. There's something in the drawer. What is it? A leaflet. A leaflet. Leaflet for a school? What's a leaflet? Is that like a pamphlet? Hmm, looks pretty old. Hmm, these LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be for the former tenants. He sure got a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? I don't know what he's talking about. Alright, so... So, someone moved the chair. I found a leaflet. Can we go to bed now? Oh. Uh. Who is it? It's Marion. I don't know who Marion is. Hey, Dave. Hey, David. How are you doing? Haha. <laughs> you just saw me yesterday. I'm doing fine. Thanks. Good, good. Call me if you're ever lonely, okay? I can come visit with Paul. By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry. Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was worried about you. 
It's okay. Tell her I don't need her to worry. She should just look out for herself. All right. Well, I'll hang up now. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of awkward. I feel I feel if you're talking with someone on the phone and then you say you're going to hang up now. Instead of saying goodbye. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just me. All right. See you. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. What's he reading? Hold on. I thought those were like candy wrappers. I thought he was eating candy. It's just books. He's got... Is that tea or coffee? Or it could be coffee and tea. I didn't even get into bed. I have one foot into bed and something weird is happening already. Come on. All right, is it TV? Oh, look, my favorite channel. Why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? Oh, you can see he's starting to get a little spooked out. Ah! <laughs> I already screamed, so I'm not going to scream for him. But he did scream. What the hell? This is creepy. Did it say sink? What was that? Oh, dude, the sink in the bathroom. What's in the sink? Oh, it's a wash? <laughs> a wash basin. I never heard it called a wash basin before. I'm going to write that down. And I'm just going to start calling my sink a wash basin. <laughs> a wash basin. I, it makes sense. I understand it. I understand wash basin. It's just... <laughs> probably, probably make her this game from a different country, I tell you. Sink. I don't know what it means. I'm going to go to bed. Can I go to bed? Oh, oh, the kitchen sink. Hmm. There's a scrap of paper under here. What do you mean? Under the sink or probably under the sink. That's what he meant. I got a scrap of paper. What's it say? Ooh, there was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a crooked little house. I like that. The rhyme scheme on that, it rhymes. Mile, style, mouse, house, right? Mile, style, mouse, house. Yeah, I don't know what they call that rhyme scheme in poetry. I learned it at one point in high school or middle school. I don't remember. <laughs> They don't do a very good job teaching you stuff in school, I tell ya. Look, I'm no teacher. I can't tell you how you're supposed to teach people stuff so they remember it, but they're not doing it right. They're not. Isn't this a mother goose rhyme? Why is this under here, under the sink? I guess the previous tenant? No, don't kid yourself. It was not no previous tenant. It's a ghost. No, it's a crooked man. <laughs> So much strange stuff. I should just sort of sleep. I should just sleep and forget about it. No, no, what you do is you leave the apartment. You grab your books and you get, get. Movie for a change of pace, huh? Guess it's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but. Oh. Is that a kid I hear this late at night? What kid would live in these beat up apartments? Well, that's what I'm saying. It's probably, probably not a kid. It's probably a ghost. Hey, maybe the lodge. I should go check. Oh, what a good guy. Taking care of the children. Oh. Of course there's no kids here. I must be getting tired. <gasps> what was that? Something broke. Someone broke something. Someone, someone broke it. No! It's a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. Wait, what? Oh, uh, oh shoot. The coffee's spilling out. You gotta be. Yeah, that's freaky, man. That's pretty freaky. This room is really, really strange with its voices and TVs turning on. What is this? Oh, gee, I don't know. 
Maybe, maybe your room is haunted, buddy. But no, he's just going to go to sleep and forget about it. Uh, hi, Paul. It's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. Ha ha. Ha ha. <laughs> yeah, um, was up all, was up all last night. I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Nah, I don't know. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? Well, seems like he forgot a lot of stuff, but I'll ask the landlady, sir, later. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. I did that coffee. Oh, did he say it was coffee? Yeah, it was coffee. So I was, I said, yeah, I didn't say it was coffee. I said it was coffee or tea. So I wanted to say I was right and I told you so it was coffee. But I said coffee or tea. So I messed it up. I did. That's the door, right? That's the right door. Oh, first floor. Go down here, bro. Crooked? Is that crack? It is crack. It's just a dresser. It doesn't look very withered. It looks like a nice, healthy plant. This one? Duh! <laughs> Hello! Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask something, you see. About the room I'm in, can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? He was, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it however. You don't. You wouldn't know where you went. I never heard that now. Really, just up and left out of the blue. Yeah, that guy probably knew what was good for him. And he, as soon as he <laughs> started seeing all the, the spooky stuff, the, the coffee on the floor, he probably left. He, he booked it. He pro that's what he probably did. And that's what you should do. All right, you don't play play around with ghosts. I, I, I wouldn't. All right, I don't have the heart for that. <laughs> if I if I woke up in the morning and there was there was just like a ghost standing next to my bed looking at me, I don't I don't even know. I would I would be so so unbelievably scared. I would probably just die there <laughs> because, out of fright. I'd be paralyzed. I just don't have the heart for that. <laughs> well, I can't. I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents to find the previous tenants if you'd like. No, no, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks, I see you around. Uh, you should have took her up on that offer. You really should have. She offered. Alrighty, sorry I wasn't very useful. She could have been useful, dingus. David, <laughs> a man about my age. I wonder, I only, I can only wonder what he was like. Probably just a normal guy who do want to mess around with all this, all this paranormal hanky-panky. Oh well, I'll get back to my room. <laughs> so I pooped on my floor! Ew! <laughs> Oh, uh, I know. It's probably... What do they call that spooky ghost jizz? It's ectoplasm, right? That's what they call it. Ew. 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 Why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Is this something in this crack? Oh, dude. I bet there's a secret room behind the crack. Break it. Oh, I got a key. This key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here, so I wonder where... Yeah, you wonder. 
<laughs> oh. Oh, we got our first close-up of the guy. The guy's voice, the kid's voices, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. <laughs> Just now he's realizing that. It's like a poltergeist or something. <laughs> but I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? I can't, I can't tell you, dude. Not that I much care if there were ghosts here. Nobody would be too be bothered if they haunted and killed me either. Whoa. This guy's pessimistic. But I wonder about that scrap of paper. What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? Not much are you thinking about it. I can't <sighs> When it do to me, when it is in that you do. Hey, I hear spooky sounds. Where's that coming from? Is it from inside the house? It's gotta be the phone, right? No, <laughs> is it the tissues? PC! No. Toilet paper? He <laughs> doesn't want to go. Bathtub. Washing machine. That's a giant freaking washing machine, dude. Cupboards. Refrigerator. Garbage disposal. No, stove. Sink. Coffee stain. Oh, leave, leave. Let's leave. I hear something in the room. Okay. Okay. Oh! Radio? Why is this in my closet? Not to mention it turning on by itself. Yeah, bro, it's a poltergeist. Hmm, there's something on this paper here. It's an address? Our special place. Where's that supposed to be? Duh. I got paper with an address. Oh, dude. Dude, let's go there. Actually, no. Probably don't. He should have been gone by now. <gasps> ah! Yeah. Yeah, you tremble. Tremble in your, your boots, sir. I've been telling you. I've been telling you, sir. I've been telling you to leave. I've been telling you to go. Get, grab your books and go. You didn't listen. Now you're here quaking in your shorts. I don't know what to tell you. I feel bad for them. I feel- I do feel bad. I'm- I'm waiting for you. What? How did- <laughs> What did- What did or why did? <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> what did or why did? <laughs> oh, if you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, I'll, I'll put I'll put the um, I'll put the what did or why did video in the in the description. Yo, look, he stopped trembling. And when did he? Where? <laughs> okay, here we go. So you sleep well? <laughs> sleep well at night? Sorry, I had to sleep in the garage. Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. Ah, wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look so hot. Ew, there's no pretty You tell him. You be honest with this man. You tell him there's a poltergeist. Seriously, though. You can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. Alright. Heh, <laughs> I'm glad to know a guy who looks out for his friends. <laughs> you making fun of me? Where did he get that from? Oh, oh yeah, I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. I don't remember what was that. What happened with Shirley? I don't even know what he's. I don't know what he's talking about. Don't worry about it. And it's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, all right? I know you've got your mother to look after, but I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. I'm just some clerk with a mom in the hospital. 
and the girl I wanted to marry ran from me. Oh, that's why he's so, so freaking, he's such a dumpy downer. <laughs> Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep up that moping and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. Heh, <laughs> well, I'll be careful. Oh, so I'm going on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know. Ooh, good idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet. Send a postcard. Nah, but don't actually. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who is this guy? Paul. Did I get Did I get the guys mixed up? Oh, I think I got the guys mixed up. Oh, there's Marion. Breakfast is ready, Paul. David, will you be eating too? Nah, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Oh, that's too bad. Come by any time you like. Oh, it's a girl. Um, I'm I'm not gonna do a girl's voice. I'm I'm really bad at girl voices. Dear, looks like this address is in the mountains. About a five hour drive. Shoot. Did the former tenant go here? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. Hell, I get right now. I can't stand it. Oh, it might be time to to uh to end it. End it here. Oh, perfect place to, to call it to stop right now. Prologue, David's room, end. There you go. A perfect stopping point. Hey, there we go. Oh, oh. Jeez, it's gotten dark. But this is the place, no doubt. His place looks like a hotel. Would he be here? Guess I'll just have to check. Alright, I will do that. Later. I've got to get going. But, hey, thanks for sticking around, folks. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.